I'm Alan Chase. I'm the chair of the ear training department at Berkeley College of Music, and I teach ear training for live performance. Ear training for live performance, the activities that we do are really uh, ancient, and we're using modern technology to do them. Playing a melody and going, oh, what was that? How do you do that? Learning songs from one another. Uh, you know, we know there's been music as long as human beings have been around and part of how it's been transmitted is just through call and response, making the sound, trying to imitate that sound. That's a big part of what ear training is, and that's a big part of what we do in ear training for live performance. We're doing it globally through the internet with technology, but it's a skill that's fundamental to music making. Ear training for live performance is for any musician, singer, instrumentalist, whether you're interested in improvisation, songwriting, composition, any of those things. It requires a knowledge of the major scale, a little bit of confidence in producing notes with your voice. So if you've taken basic ear training one or had some prior experience with that kind of study, that's uh, very helpful in succeeding in the course. You're expected to know where the notes are on the staff in bass and treble clef and to be able to read basic rhythms. When you develop your ear training skills, you begin to become more confident, more rhythmically confident. You express things without hesitation. You know what you're about to play or sing, what it's gonna sound like uh, before it comes out of your voice or your instrument. You recognize what the people around you are playing and you're more confident about what that is and how your part's gonna fit in. And it makes your time better your rhythmic accuracy because there's not that hesitation of, oh no, what, what if the, what I'm about to play doesn't sound right? That goes away gradually as you be, build your ear training skills. And it makes the music more expressive. It makes the feelings come across to the audience better and it just makes music better. So it's incredibly valuable skill. And one that often we uh, tend to neglect as we're learning lots of information and physical skills on instruments and things like that. This is a great way to advance your ear training skills and to become a better and more expressive and confident musician. I think somebody who knows their basic theory and is ready to progress to the next level in terms of their command of melody and rhythm, this is an excellent course to take.